this summer, my husband did something very unusual. He read a book. It is Barbara Kingsolver. That's Babs. Animal, Vegetable, or Miracle. And after he was done reading it, he told me that he wanted us to eat locally for one year. We haven't decided about that yet. After reading it myself, eating locally is better for the environment. It's better for communities. Eating locally can taste better because you're eating in season. Also, when you have to wait to eat your food, if you're like, oh, I really want watermelon, but it's not in season yet, and then you wait for it to come in season rather than travel thousands of miles away, imagine how good that watermelon can taste. After I read the book, I'm not sure that I want to actually do what the King Solver family did, but it definitely made me take a more appreciative, loving look at the foods that we have and what I can do with them. What's cool about the Seminole squash here in Central Florida is that it's indigenous and so it's pretty bug resistant. It grows like a boss. The flavor, I would say, is sweeter than butternut squash. In fact, sometimes it can almost be a little too sweet, but that can also be great because you can harness that sweetness into something like um, a squash pie. All right, so we have a crap ton of squash and I don't wanna get tired of it. How can I get on this eating local train? First of all, you gotta pick which squash you're gonna eat. So even though it's super hot here, I feel like making soup tonight. Um, so first, color. We don't want it when it's green. This is a nice medium size for us. The color looks really great, so this one is the winner. So I'm going to take my winning squash, and the first thing I'm going to do is wash it. Next, I'm going to cut it in half. Then I'm going to scoop out the seeds. I have to save them for Paul because he's obsessed with them. Next, you want to cut up the squash. The smaller uh, the pieces are, the faster it's going to cook. So I know a lot of squash recipes have cook in the oven 350 for an hour or whatever. No. Microwave revelation. I used to find that baking squash would take over an hour, which when you come home from work, ain't nobody got time for that. So then I found out you could microwave squash. Microwaving squash takes like less than 15 minutes. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water here and then pop it in the microwave. I'm just gonna pierce it with a fork. And I'm gonna pop it in for another six minutes. So while my squash is finishing, I'm gonna gather up any vegetables that I wanna use up in the fridge. I'm gonna cook them on the stove. And basically I'm just gonna blend everything together. <laughs> I got onion, celery, pepper, zucchini, carrots. And then, my favorite toy in the kitchen. You just puree the heck out of it. For you, my love. Thank you. Thanks, Babs. <laughs>